welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i hope you're all doing really really well i've picked up some bits from zara lately and they have just arrived so i've got them fresh in their parcels sat next to me which i thought i could unbox share everything with you so i will leave everything in this video linked in the description box if you want to shop anything <coughs> excuse me it's early this morning. I think this is the first time I've spoken, so <clears throat> apologies. Let's just jump straight into it. I do have a mixture of fashion and homeware bits, and there's three boxes, so I'm just gonna go in with no order. I do have holiday in mind and summer clothes as well, just at the forefront of my mind, little summer outfits and options. This first one being a co-ord, of which I picked up these shorts. I've been living in shorts like this when the weather's been hot here in the UK just pottering around the house, in and out the garden. So I saw this set that they do in a few different colors. I decided to get the shorts in a medium. 17 99 for little shorts with a matching co-ord top at, how much was this? Again, 17 99 and again, lots of different colors. This one, the top that matches it is like an oversized sweatshirt tee, but it's quite a thin sweatshirt. It's definitely not thick and too hot. So I was thinking even this is a little travel outfit, might be quite nice. Again, I got the top in a medium. This is a bit of a different color option for me. They had this dress in a couple of colors, but they did have this in a really cool toned khaki green, but not in my size, which obviously if you know me, that definitely would, would have been a color that I would have gone for. But I thought I would try it out. It's a linen dress with this kind of nice deep V, really pretty kind of lace up back in the heat loose linen dresses as well are another great option it has got a double lining as well in a medium at 29.99 let's get into this second box okay i've got one of these shirts from primark that i bought a while ago in this blue color and i love it so when i saw that zara had a similar one because i can't find them in primark again now um, I wanted to pick up a second one just as an option. Um, this one's slightly different in that this shirt I would say is more of like a like a school shirt fabric. My other Oxford shirt has got a bit more sort of a cotton softer finish. This one is very sort of school shirt material. So it could be a bit more smarter than my other one. I got it in a small, did I? That's unusual for me to get a shirt like this in a small. Maybe they didn't have a medium because ordinarily that's the sort of size that I would go for. Even going on holiday, a nice blue shirt, maybe more linen one, just open with like bikini on holiday, like be as beach wear, I really like. So a shirt is always a great staple. And that shirt was in the sale reduced to 19.99. Oh, I did actually pick up that set, totally forgot, and I love this color. I got it in like a dark kind of wine burgundy kind of color. Can you see? The only thing is, can you see holding them up? That one looks a bit more sort of washed, which I prefer. Whereas this one looks a bit more of a block color. And actually, I have a set from Zara that, here. Yeah. I haven't hung it up yet, but after it's been washed. But can you see the bottoms and the top? I bought them at the same time and I've washed them the same amount of times, but can you see the color difference? between them. This one's gone totally different color to what they were originally. It's gone more like brownie beige, whereas that's stayed quite green. So although I think the gray set will wash fine, this one just reminded me of that, the fact that they're slightly different colors. Even if I just like the shorts, maybe just keep the shorts as good little pottering shorts, garden shorts. I got them in a medium as well. So they look quite small for a medium, we'll see. And then the top, what did I get the top in? Yeah, medium on this one as well, both 17 99 Let me know which colour do you prefer. We've got some more shirts. Again, another blue one, and this time in a stripe. This one I did get in a small, but it definitely looks to be more of an oversized fit. So I think I'll prefer the fit to this one to that other blue one, which is annoying. I think that other blue one, I think I'll think it's too small once I've tried it on. This is the sort that you could wear undone like as a beach cover like a nice basket bag do it up as like a shirt dress that was reduced in the sale to 15.99 and then another shirt that i got this is a bit more wow i don't often wear yellow and i think i should probably wear yellow a bit more that kind of 
maybe this is a bit too bright for me but like a nice subtle lemon color this one is in a large 29.99 this one is um, probably a bit too big for me, but um, yeah, I thought I'd show it to you as an option. I don't think they had a medium in this one, although having seen the other one in a small, I think a small would have been fine. But yeah, again, a nice bright, how did they style this? They had this on with matching bottoms. So they have like wide leg, sh this kind of shirt fabric trousers that match the uh, shirt, which I think would make a really nice set. I don't think I picked the trousers up. But if you like that kind of look, then yeah, for a full set, really, really nice. This is just a good classic that I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. And it's literally the sort of thing I've been living in, in any kind of heat in the UK. And that's just a simple, strappy, floaty mini dress. It's got a double lining, but it's, I would say, feels quite lightweight. It's got really pretty detailing on the, across the top there. And then the straps are adjustable and they're just really thin spaghetti straps. So again, good for not getting like massive tan lines. I got this one in a medium. It was 35.99. This one was 35.99, but reduced down to 19.99. And I thought again, as another wow factor holiday evening dress, it's quite bold and bright in person actually haven't seen it but if you like that kind of bright bold color i love the shape of that top it's that stereotypical zara kind of um design that they have on some of their dresses i know they've done a lot of satin dresses like that that one is in a small then we've got a three piece for holiday swimsuit so i firstly i'll show you this bikini which is essentially the bottoms i loved the shape of them so they're really high cut if you can tell now they are in a large i'm like a 10 to 12 but they didn't have a medium and i thought a small was just going to be too small so i went for the large and now looking at them i actually think they'll be fine because they do come up really high and they're super stretchy so i think they will fit my waist quite nicely and then the top to go with it i did get in a extra small because again they didn't have a small so i'm hoping I can get away with an extra small. If not, then I will keep my eyes peeled for a small, or I could just wear like a plain black top with this bottom, because I always do the reverse. I always wear a different bikini top with a black, plain black bottom, so why not do it the other way around? I think it will go back, but I definitely am gonna keep these bottoms. I love them, and they also come with this um, little kind of cover skirt. So the skirt I got in a medium to large or they do extra small to small. So I thought I'll go for the bigger one. 15.99 for this. And like I say, just as a little cover to, I don't know, just have that, like have your bum thighs and that covered for like if you're just wandering around or like popping up to the bar or whatever on holiday how much was the bikini the bikini was 22.99 19.99 this one was 35.99 but in the sale for 19.99 and quite similar to the black one that i was saying about just a simple strappy dress to just wear although this one isn't as loose this one's a bit more sort of fitted but i got it in a medium and it's got such pretty detailing on this one like a little lace trim that runs down the entire side of the dress and little kind of embroidered flowers on the front. Just very delicate, very girly and cute and pretty. I will also just show you this one at the same time because this one is slightly more loose fit, comfy in terms of if you're wanting that loose, looser mini dress. But again, very similar with this thin spaghetti straps. This is why I stocked up on these because I had one from Abercrombie that I wore pretty much every single day when we had that. Um, I know it's cooled down a little bit for us here in Manchester, but 20 sort of, five plus degrees 25 to 30 degrees for like a week i just wore that dress the entire time and i was like i need to get another option so uh that's why i've stocked up on a couple of things like this and 35.99 i actually think i prefer this one so we'll see we'll see what they all look like and what i decide to send back and keep but i think i'll end up keeping this one and i did size up to a large enough so maybe that's why i think i'll prefer that kind of looser oversized fit for when it is uncomfortably hot. Moving on, I've got this long dress. This one reminds me of the red one. It's the same kind of top that that uh, Zara style do, but it is longer and it's 
kind of like mid axi with a slit up the back so it could be dressed up could be dressed down i got it in a medium again this one was reduced from 35.99 down to just 19.99 for a good staple lbd i think is a great price okay last box now and this one definitely has some more homeware finds in it but we do also have some fashion accessories too now i really wanted to get a kind of summer hat and i thought this one that zara did was very simple and could be styled up really easily so i thought i would pick it up from zara home it actually is from um and it's just like a little simple straw hat it was 23.99 and yeah i just think it needs to just settle out of the box and not be squished down like as always with any kind of hat that you buy um but yeah really like the texture the fabric oh Oh, it's my summer holiday. But I always tend to burn on my forehead. So I think it will be good just to have the option of having a hat. And I also got to go with it that matches a cute little straw bag. I've got big beach bags, but if ever I just want literally a pool bag for holiday or just like popping out to the pool with literally just book, suntan lotion and phone in, then I thought this was a much better size. So I got this one. This was, oops, sorry about that. It was 19.99. I'm pretty sure they do this but in a bigger version as well if you did want like the bigger beach bag. But how cute is that? Again, that seagrass texture like the white company does. And I think 19.99 for a bag is actually really handy. Even not just as a beach bag or a pool bag. I would wear this with just a little linen summer's dress like one of the ones I've shown you during the day like popping out and about even in town in Manchester or whatever and you could always just put in there a little zippable beige nude pouch just so that your goods are all secure i really really like that definitely keeping that one then did you know zara home does beachwear as well because they have bikinis in and they are branded zara home i do think the clothing that zara home has is better quality than zara i mean they usually are more expensive so i got the bottoms in a medium for just a simple i wanted just a simple black bikini i've got different styles and different shapes for on holiday when you're tanning i think the bikini that i end up wearing the most is just a simple triangle bikini so that's what i decided to pick up and i quite liked this one because it's more of like an anthracite gray and when i did my colors when i had my colorist come and do my colors she said that that for me for my coloring is better suited than a natural black but yeah look how skimpy and simple that little triangle bikini is it's honestly perfect for tanning really simple minimal back as well i got both of them in a medium and they were 23.99 and 19.99 so again they do end up adding up if i get any kind of a color because my pale skin girls all that out there will be able to relate i either burn take ages to get a base tan and then as soon as i get home just lose it anyway um and i will keep my face out of it that is something that i do quite a lot now is hence the hat and SPF 50 that I wear every day is just help protect my, at least my face skin. But yeah, I will try and get a bit of a tan, but we'll see. I'll probably come back and you won't have even been able to tell that I've been away. But anyway, I got this tool bag and I'm so glad now that it's arrived and I've seen how big it is because the measurements for some reason weren't online. They might be by now, but I, it was a guessing game, this one. It's a little zippable pouch that I felt like I needed for my mini kind of gardening tools that I've been using, like my gloves, my little mini trowel set, sacateurs, stuff like that, which I have been using for our new little herb garden that I've got the run of in the back, like the back of our garden. And how cute is that little illustration on the front? Just says, Jardineria, um, Zara Home, and little three little tools. And it is, yeah, it's very generously sized, this one. Look how big that is. This was $19.99. Did get a couple of bits for Barney as well, who is my golden retriever, if you're new here. I'll show you those in a second. But I also picked up some home fragrance goodies. And I, again, the aesthetics, even just the packaging that Zara Home, they just do it so well. So I got these incense cones, which I have had incense cones before, um, but they also now sell, I've noticed this incense cone holder so i'm going to open it up and show it to you it was 15.99 and it's like this little ceramic hold on let me open it up and show you that's what it looks like on the inside how nice would this be as a little gift as well for someone who's just 
moved into a new house. Let's look at things as like good little gift ideas as well. Yeah, how pretty. It's just a kind of rough textured ceramic little, it's got Zara home on the bottom, little incense cone burner. So you pop the cone on there, light it, blow it out like you would with incense, then cover it and then it will come, the incense will kind of smoke out of the little hole at the top and then the actual cones themselves they do have different scents i went for well i don't need to open it but i went for the leather amber which has got notes of leather moss and cedarwood sounds right up my alley but they do have a couple of other variations these ones are black but the other scents i think come in like a brown and a cream the incense cones were 12.99 okay on to barney's goodies now i got him a few things firstly this lead this new lead and i don't have anything like this he does have a couple of leads but you know we've got another one now this one i don't have like one of these crossbodies so you can walk them hands free it's like a multi-way lead so you've literally got the clip here that will clip onto their harness or collar You've got the um, D-ring here for being able to, I think if I'm right in thinking, there's another one here as well. And then at the, at the other end is yet another clip. So I think you can clip one to a D-ring like that and have it as a strap that you can walk them and then clip that one to their collar. You could also clip it again to the closer D-ring and have it as a much shorter lead or you can also leave it on that one and have it cross body. So you're like hands free whilst this is this other end is attached to your dog. So yeah, I decided to pick this up and I love the color of it as well. It matches his collar and things, which is like a kind of dusky sage green. $27.99 for that one. Then this is a repeat purchase because I love the scent of it so much. It's a dog first spray. So whenever he's been birthed or even just rinsed down outside, and I want to spritz him with a nice scented product. I have another one that I love, but Tom doesn't like it. So whenever I use it on him, he always goes, oh, you've sprayed that stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, let me let me get this because we both loved this one. This is the dog fur spray. They also do this same sized bottle with the dog linen spray, which you can spritz on their bedding and things. And this one is scented absolute linen. So it's just nice and fresh and light. I don't put much on, I just pop couple of bit like on his chest and on his back. I think they're about 15 pounds. Yeah. And then lastly, I picked up a new dog bowl. So I wanted a raised one. He does have one, but it's broken. The wooden base of it has snapped open. So it keeps on opening and the bowl keeps falling down. So I decided to get a new one and this time invest in a good quality, lovely Zara home one that looks nice. I only have one raised one for his food when he's eating, but the other one just goes on the floor and it's um, his water bowl, which is from Dalesford. So I don't want to replace that one because I really like it. Um, so I just thought I would get this raised single one. They do have a slightly smaller one, like smaller heighted one, um, if you have like a smaller dog, but this one just has like an acacia wood stand with the cream metal bowl. Uh, this can be go. it can go in the dishwasher. Bit of an investment one this one, but at least I know it's a bit more sturdy and durable. So this one's $39.99 and I love it. I'm sure Barney will too. He literally won't care. That is everything that I got from Zara and Zara Home on this occasion. Let me know of any of those items which was your favourite. Are you a Zara Home lover or fashion lover? If you could only shop one for the rest of your life. Would it be fashion or would it be home? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. It would really mean the world. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.